Welcome, everyone. I'd like to call the 17th regular meeting of the 2021 Common Council to order. Next, I'd like the deputy clerk to please read the quote for the day. Every successful individual knows that his or her achievement depends on a community of persons working together. Thank you very much. And then if the clerk would please read uh, the roll call. Oren. Here. Donahue. Here. Feldy. Ackley. Phillips. Here. Decker. Here. Sorensen. Here. Savaglio. Present. Filiki Panevsky. Mitchell. Here. Feldy. Ackley. They're online. Barb, here. Barb is here. Okay. Do Barb Feldy again. Feldy. I am here. Filiki Panensky. You call Mitchell? You got Mitchell? Yep. Okay. This looks like how many eight? Is it just Filiki we're missing? We have two minutes. Roberta just arrived. Oh. Filiki Panensky. Here. Okay, we have, I believe, what, nine present? Very good, thank you. Uh, next, please stand and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. <coughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Next item on the agenda is the approval of the minutes from our 16th regular council meeting, which was held on November 16th. Alderperson Sorensen. Thank you, Mayor. I move to approve the minutes from our last meeting. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on those minutes? Seeing none. All those in favor of them as printed, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Next item is public forum. Do we have anyone this evening? There is no one present. Okay, thank you. Next we'll go on uh, to mayoral appointments. Uh, City Attorney Charles Adams. We have, uh, we have one appointment. Uh, the mayor hereby submits the following appointment for your consideration. Emily Rendall Araujo to be considered for appointment to the position of Director of Senior Services. Thank you, and that appointment will lie over until our next meeting. Next item is uh, Mayor's announcements. Uh, first of all, I'd like to open up with a COVID-19 update. Uh, let's review the numbers uh, for today versus last week. Uh, we have an increase of 521 positive tests. We're up to 9,646 positive tests. Uh, we had a decrease in the number of active cases in the community. They were down 482, and the active case count is now 1,895. We have 7,685 cases that have recovered, and we have 22 uh, people that are hospitalized currently. And that's the same as it was last week. But in between here, we had some days where we were up to 32 or 37 people in the hospital. So this number is, uh, is not overburdening our hospitals at this time. We have a total of 66 deaths now, and uh, we have a total of 37, 144 negative tests. The trajectory of the numbers is down 42% this week. So at this time, we've reduced the strain on our hospital admissions. We are 11 days after Thanksgiving, so contact with a positive case during family celebrations could still show up in the next few days. 
when the numbers come in next week, we can really say that we did a good job and made it through the holiday without a spike in our numbers. The Wisconsin National Guard testing site completed 178 tests on Wednesday and another 143 tests on Friday. This is the lowest number of tests administered recently. The Sheboygan County uh, uh, Public Health Department has reapplied for the National Guard to continue to have community testing through March of 2021. The testing uh, in December will continue on Wednesdays and Fridays at the Sheboygan County Aging and Disability Resource Center in Sheboygan Falls. There will be no testing on Friday, December 25th on Christmas Day, nor on Friday, December 31st, New Year's Eve. If you're referring someone to this site, please ask them to please pre-register and register at register.covidconnect.wi.gov and uh, traffic uh, slows substantially down uh, beginning at noon with the National Guard uh, comes each day with uh, 400 tests to, get, to administer. The CDC re released options to reduce quarantine uh, times for persons exposed to a positive contact. These options will reduce the time from 10 to 14 days in certain conditions. Please see the CDC notice for more information. Sheboygan County is still at a very critically high level. Uh, it's strongly recommended that we avoid going to places where safety measures are not in place, to wash our hands with soap and water or use hand sanitizer, especially after touching frequently used items or surfaces, to always wear a mask in public, to disinfect used items and surfaces as much as possible, and if you're sick, stay home and do not go to work or school. Next, uh, are you interested in running for local office? An election for the office of mayor and alder person for the city of Sheboygan will be held on April 6th of 2021. Candidates for these offices are currently circulating nomination papers, which must be turned into the city clerk by January 5th. The election for aldermanic seats will be held in the odd numbered districts only, districts one, three, five, seven, and nine. And due to the replacement in 2020, there will also be an election for the aldermanic seat in district two, and this will be for a one year term. The other districts will all be for two year terms. Winter parking rules began on December 1st. Vehicles parked on the street must alternate sides of the street between midnight and 6 a.m. Remember, park for tomorrow. Tomorrow is always the best to do. In 2021, pet licenses are now available at the Sheboygan Police Department. Every cat, dog, and miniature pot-bellied pig kept in the city of Sheboygan must uh, have an annual license. These licenses are valid for the entire calendar year, and the application is available on the police department website, and payments can be made at the police department. I would like to take this opportunity to wish all Sheboygan residents a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, and I pray that you safely enjoy the holiday time together with your family. Please consider sharing your time, talents, and wealth with those in need, just as gifts are exchanged around the Christmas tree. I would like to say thanks for the many contributions that were exchanged in our community over the past year, and these items really continue to make Sheboygan one of the best places to live. The city of Sheboygan is working with several community groups that have Christmas projects for the benefit of the community. At Evergreen Park, the city is working with the Sheboygan County Rotary Clubs as they stage their annual Making Spirits Bright display. This year, many of the past favorite displays will return along with new displays of note, which include Old Man Winter and Singing Trees in the Glistening Grove. Evergreen Park is located on Calumet Drive, Highway 42 North, and driving into the park will only be allowed from the north turning right into the park entrance. Admission is free of charge, but donations of cash and non-perishable food items are very important for the Sheboygan County Food Bank and are encouraged. They have a huge goal to collect 150,000 pounds of non-perishable food items for the Sheboygan County Food Bank. And since the needs are so great in our community, uh, this uh, goal was increased from 85,000 pounds last year. 
the light display at Evergreen Parks is open evenings from 5 to 9 through December 31st, except for Christmas Eve. And the J.C. Park Quarry View Center displays and entertainments are closed this year due to COVID-19. Shoreline Metro will also run a, a jingle bus tour to Evergreen Park, leaving the transfer station on Pennsylvania Avenue at 6 p.m. and 7 p.m. on Tuesdays and Thursdays on December 8th, 10th, 15th, and 17th. The bus route will include a stop at the Mead Public Library for the tree displays and Evergreen Park for making spirits bright. The fare for the Jingle Bus Tour is one or more perishable items per person, and due to COVID-19 restrictions, uh, we require a 15-passenger limit on the bus, so reservations are needed and can be made by calling 459-3281. The Shoreline Metro office on Pennsylvania Avenue is also a drop-off location for Toys for Tots, and tomorrow, December 8th, is the last day that donations will be accepted. During the holiday season, uh, please shop and dine at our local merchants and continue to shop local for the rest of December. This pandemic has really challenged our local merchants by shifting our shopping to local businesses. They will be able to survive this pandemic. Downtown parking is free every Saturday and Sunday after, and after five o'clock on weekdays. Try to find a way to do as much of your holiday shopping as possible at our local shops. Consider the purchase of gift certificates, gift cards, or chamber cash to keep business local and allow our heart of the hometown businesses to survive this pandemic. In a typical year, the U.S. postal carriers would have walked the holiday parade to collect letters for Santa, but this year the holiday parade was canceled and the U.S. Post Office has set up a North Pole drop box in the lobby of the Sheboygan Post Office for letters for Santa. And a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to everyone. Thank you. Next we'll go on with uh, some hearings. Item 2.1 is hearing number four of 2021, pursuant to notice published and personal notices and sent out by the city clerk. There is a hearing scheduled for this evening to amend the city's future land use map uh, of the Sheboygan County, the Sheboygan Comprehensive Plan to change the land use classification on the property that's located at 1125 North 13th Street from class employment to class community mixed use classification. <laughs> Is there anyone wishing to be heard? Please step up and please give us your name and address. Just a second. There you go. This is John Elmendorf. I live at 215 Forest Road in Kohler, Wisconsin. Uh, I'm the owner of Elmendorf Properties and Progressive Beginnings LLC. And this is the business that is looking to have the rezoning done so that we can start uh, reconstruction of a business that we're looking to purchase. It's the old Salvation Army daycare that is at 1125 South 13th. And prior to that, it was actually a part of the rehab center of Sheboygan, which was used as a therapy center and daycare. Um, unfortunately, at that time, it was rezoned or zoned in a different way. And now to do the exact same thing that was done before has to be rezoned to accompany that. Uh, so we're asking for you guys to help us get this rezoned so that we can start uh, and, and keep our business here. Progressive Beginnings has been in Sheboygan for 21 years. Uh, we've leased properties at two different places to run our medical practice. It's a, it's a practice for special needs children, uh, for physical, occupational, and speech therapy and aquatic therapy. And it's also a place for therapy for uh, persons of elderly age for chronic back pain, chronic work injuries. Uh, again, we've been here for 21 years providing services, and now we're really trying to purchase a building so that we can put a longstanding foothold here in the community and really start to enhance what that property was and bring it back to what it should be. Thank you very much. Is there anyone else wishing to be heard? Is there anyone else wishing to be heard? Is there anyone else wishing to be heard? All the person Sorensen. Thank you, Mayor. I move to close the hearing. Thank you for that motion. Is there a, thank you for the second. All those in favor of closing the hearing, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Hearing's closed.
We have a second hearing, uh, not hearing number five of 2021, pursuant to a notice published in the personal notices sent out by the city clerk. There is a hearing scheduled for this evening to amend the city's official zoning map to change the use district classification for the property located at 1125 North 13th Street from class urban industrial UI to class urban commercial. Is there anyone wishing to be heard? Is there anyone wishing to be heard? Is there anyone wishing to be heard? Alderperson Sorensen. Thank you, Mayor. I move to close the hearing. Is there a second? Second. Thank you very much. Second. All those in favor of closing the hearing, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Next, we'll move on to the consent agenda, which will include items 3.2 through 3.10. Um, Alderperson Sorensen. Thank you, Mayor. I move to receive and file all ROs, receive all RCs, and adopt all resolutions and ordinances. Is there a second? second? Thank you for that motion and support. Those items are before us. Is there any discussion on any of them? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll for passage? Ten eyes. Motion passes. Moving on to reports of officers. Item 4.1 is RO number 108 of 2021 by the Transit Commission, to whom was referred resolution number 118 of 2021 by Alderperson Sorensen, authorized the, uh, the filling of an application with the United States of America Department of Transportation and authorizing execute, executing the contract pertaining to grants for calendar year 2021 under former section nine of the Federal Transit Act of 1964 is amended. Alderperson Sorensen. Thank you, Mayor. I move to receive the RO and adopt the resolution. Second. Thank you for that Second. motion and support. That's uh, before us for discussion. Seeing no discussion, all those in favor of the motion, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Items 4.2 and 4.3 will be referred to the Finance and Personnel Committee. Under resolutions, item. Hush. I'm sorry, you guys. Thank you. Item 5.1 is resolution number 128 of 2021 by Alderperson Sorensen and Donahue, authorizing the appropriate city officials to enter into an agreement with Muni Code regarding phased recodification of the city's code of ordinances. Alderperson Sorensen. Thank you, Mayor. I ask for the suspension of the rules. Is there any objection to suspension? Seeing none, please proceed. I have Go ahead, Bert. I have a question. I have I have a question. Um, what's the importance of suspending the rules for something that was probably administratively known that we had to do? Is there some pressure to suspend the rules? Can you respond to that at all? Please. Okay, I'll turn it over to the deputy clerk for an explanation. No, oh, I'm sorry. Chuck? Yeah. So the reason for this is, is we've, we've been working uh, on the contract with Muni Code for some time on this. Uh, and uh, they've, we've, we've now worked, that, worked those details out. Uh, and we need to get it paid in this council year uh, because we have the funds this year. We do not have the funds next year. Uh, there, were, there were a number of pieces that needed to come together. Uh, before we could actually make the final um, agreement, and we've done that now. Thank Is there you. okay? Are there any other objections? Seeing none, please proceed, Alderperson Sorensen. Thank you, Mayor. I move to adopt the resolution. Is there? Okay. A, thank you for the motion and support. Is there any further discussion on the motion? 
Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Ten eyes. Motion passes. Item 5.2 is resolution number 129 of 2021 by Alderpersons Donahue and Boren authorizing submitting a substantial amendment to the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development Community Black Grant CDBG program for the 2019-2020 program year to accept $229,479.30 in CDBG CV2 funding from the state of Wisconsin. Alderperson Donahue. Thank you, Mayor. I move to uh, uh, pass the resolution. No, first of all, we need a request for suspension. Sorry, I didn't know this one was mine. Um, I would move to request a suspension in view of the timely nature of the request and the need to act immediately. Second. Is, is there any objection to suspension? Seeing none, please proceed. Um, I uh, therefore would move uh, to uh, authorize staff to uh, uh, execute the documents necessary for the final submittal. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any further discussion on the motion? Dean, did you have something? No. Okay. Would the clerk then please call the roll? Ten eyes. Motion passes. <clears throat> Item 5.3 is resolution number 130 of 2021 by Alderperson Sorensen and Decker authorizing the city attorney to execute a license agreement with SICOM Data Systems Inc. for city legal and case management system software. Alderperson Decker, I mean Sorensen. Thank you, Mayor. I move to suspend the rules. Is there any objection to suspension? Seeing none, please proceed. Thank you, Mayor. I move to adopt the resolution. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on the motion? Seeing I have a question. Please proceed. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Mayor. Um, I was taking a look at this contract, and it looks like there's $120 a month that's going to make sure that Microsoft Calendars talks to the software. Uh, I feel like that's a, uh, a very inflated fee, which for most systems would be free. Can you uh, provide some explanation why they feel it's necessary to charge us money for calendars to work? Can the city attorney handle that one? Part of the negotiated fee, um, you know, there's there's different fees that they added in, and, and, and you know, we negotiated with them on that fee. Uh, there was one other piece to this, which was we did uh, consider the there was another option to have all of that work done internally by our IT department. Uh, but in reviewing that with IT, it was felt that the cost uh, for having that done by the city law group was actually less overall when you considered everything put together than it would be to have our uh, internal IT staff do that in part because of the amount of work that would be that, that it would take and the need to possibly hire more people. Thank you very much. Anything else, Alderperson Spaglio? I know that was my one question. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, Mayor, this is Alderman Bourne. Please go ahead. Thank you. I had a, a long discussion with Attorney Adams uh, regarding this uh, case management system this morning, and I'm very comfortable with it. And one thing I was interested in to find out from Attorney Adams was that uh, the city of Sheboygan was w one of only two or three municipalities in Wisconsin, at least of our size, that hasn't that hasn't uh, have doesn't didn't have a, a, a case management system. And I, I'm very confident after talking to uh, Attorney Adams this morning that this is well worth the money. And uh, I think it's going to probably even lead to so, some new efficiencies in his office. So I support it. Thank you for those comments. Is there any other discussion? 
Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Ten eyes. Motion passes. Items uh, 5.4 and 5.5 uh, will be referred to various committees. Under reports of committees, item 6.1 is RC number 196 of 2021 by the Public Works Committee. To whom was referred resolution number 123 of 2021 by Alder Persons Decker and Sorensen, authorizing the mayor to sign the reinstatement and second amendment to purchase and sale agreement extending several dates in the previous agreement authorizing pers authorized pursuant to resolution number 12 of 1920 for the purchase of land from the Union Pacific Railroad Company. Alder Person Decker. Thank you, Mayor. I'd like to receive the RC and adopt the resolution. Second. Thank you for that motion in support. Is there any discussion on the motion? Seeing none, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Item 5.2 is RC number 197 of 2021 by the Public Works Committee, to whom was referred resolution number 125 of 2021 by Alder Person Decker, adopting the master plan for J.C. Park and direct referral RO number 107 of 2021 by the Director of Public Works submitting a recommendation from the Board of Marina Parks and Forestry Commissioners to adopt the master plan for J.C. Park. Alder Person Decker. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I make a motion to receive and file the RO and adopt the resolution. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on the motion? Seeing none. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Item 6.3 is RC number 198 of 2021 by the Finance and Personnel Committee to whom is refer direct referral resolution number 127 of 2021 by Alder Persons Donahue and Boren authorizing the appropriate city officials to enter into a contract with Growth Design Group for architectural and engineering services uh, for the conversion of 1817 North A Street into the Senior Activity Center of Sheboygan. Alderperson Donahue. I move to receive the report of uh, the committee and adopt the resolution. Is there a second? second. Thank you very much. We have second. a motion. We have a motion on the floor. Is there any further discussion? Seeing none. All those in favor of the motion, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Next, we'll move on to general ordinances. Item 7.1 through 7.3 will be referred to various committees. Under matters laid over. You missed 6.4, 6 Mayor. 4. Which one? 6.4. Okay, we'll go back to 6.4, which is RC number 199 of 2021 by the Licensing Hearings and Public Safety Committee. To whom was referred general ordinance number 25 of 2021 by Alderperson Sorensen, Ackley, Donahue, Feldy, Felicki, Paneski, and Savaglio. Of any portions of Chapter 46 of the Sheboygan Municipal Code relating to the regulations of non discrimination and fair housing and recommends adopting the ordinance. Alderperson Sorensen. Thank you, Mayor. I move to receive the report of the committee and adopt the ordinance. Second. Thank you, for that. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on the motion? Seeing none, will the, all those in favor please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Then we'll go on to matters laid over. 
Item 8.1 is RO number 101 of 2021 by the City Planning Commission, to whom was referred General Ordinance number 22 of 2021 by Alderperson Phillips requesting an ordinance amendment to the City of Sheboygan's future land use map of Sheboygan Comprehensive Plan to change the use district classification of property located at 1125 North 20, 13th Street from class employment to class community mixed use classification and wishes to report that this matter was discussed at the regular meeting of the City Planning Commission on November 10th and due consideration recommends adopting the ordinance. Alderperson Boren. Jim, we can't hear you. Please proceed, Alderperson Boren. Uh, having a trouble with my internet connection here, but I thank you, Mayor. I make a motion to receive the RO and adopt the ordinance. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on the motion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Boren. Did you get him? Could you hear me, Mayor? No, please give us your vote. Uh, aye. All right, 10 ayes. Motion passes. Next, we'll bring up item 8.2, which is RO number 102 of 2021 by the City Planning Commission, to whom was referred General Ordinance number 23 of 2021 by Alderperson Phillips and RO number 94 of 2021 by the City Clerk, requesting an ordinance amendment to the City of Sheboygan's official zoning map of the City Zoning Ordinance to change the use district classification of property located at 1125 North 13th Street from Class UI Urban Industrial to Class UC Urban Commercial Classification and wishes to report that this matter was discussed at the regular meeting of the City Planning Commission on November 10th of 2020 and uh, after due consideration recommends filing the RO and adopting the ordinance. Alderperson Bourne. Thank you, Mayor. I make a motion to receive the RO and adopt the ordinance. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on that motion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Ten ayes. Motion passes. Under other matters authorized by law, I'll turn it over to City Attorney Charles Adams. On uh, 9.1 is an RO by the City Clerk submitting various <coughs> license applications for period ending December 31, 2021 and June 30, 2022. That'll be referred to the Licensing Hearings and Public Safety Committee. Alderperson Sorensen. Thank you, Mayor. Seeing that we've exhausted the agenda, I move to adjourn. Second. Thank you for that uh, motion and support. Uh, all those in favor of adjournment, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Thank you very much. We stand adjourned. Appreciate your time tonight.